the inauguration ceremony for President Dr. Lai Chinda and Vice President Xiao Bei Chim took place on Monday, May 20th. 51 delegations comprising 508 foreign dignitaries attended the event. It was led by the head of state. Today, May 21st, Prime Minister Pierre and his delegation were accompanied by His Excellency Peter Chen, Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, to St. Lucia, and His Excellency Dr. Robert Lewis, Ambassador of St. Lucia, to the Republic of China, Taiwan, to visit Kunshan University in Tainan. Currently, there are seven St. Lucian students studying mechanical engineering at the university, five of which are recipients of the Taiwan ICDF scholarship. Dr. Li Tian Shang, president of Kunshan University, stated that for continuous cooperation amongst the two nations, there would be remarkable outcomes. Dr. Lee encouraged other St. Lucian students to consider attending the university as a means to elevate their educational pursuits. Since 2013, we have had six graduate alumni from St. Lucia and seven students are currently still studying. For many years, I'm honored to give KSU resources to support our nation diplomatic diplomacy efforts enabling students from our ally nations to acquire valuable knowledge. Then they can contribute their expertise back in their hometown. In his opening remarks, Prime Minister Pierre expressed his admiration for fostering global education and emphasized the importance of such opportunities for St. Lucian students. In St. Lucia, we've decided that the way forward is education. We think education at all levels is the way to advance our country. So from 2021, 20 we've undertaken a policy where we intend to have one university graduate in every household. In every household in St. Lucia, we want at least one person to have had a higher education at university level. And these students here today are testimony of that policy, and we hope to expand it. We hope to ask support from all friendly governments to help us expand that policy. The university's goal is to bolster the STEM workforce among St. Lucians. During the delegation's visit to the university's coffee center, they had the chance to inspect coffee beans under infrared light and receive a comprehensive briefing on the coffee brewing process. Honorable Philip J. Pierre expressed his pride in advancing the island's technological landscape and reiterated his belief that with proper training, St. Lucians would thrive in this field. I'm very proud that we are getting involved in science, the STEM subject, science and technology. This is the way of the world, this is the way forward, and this a university being a, a, a place where that kind of learning takes place will benefit us. We want our students to learn from you. We want our students to be able at some point in time to return home, to transfer that knowledge and that technology that they've learned. What they've learned, we will intend for them to share it with our people in St. Lucia. Prime Minister Pierre and his delegation are scheduled to meet with other St. Lucian students on Thursday, May 23rd at the Embassy of St. Lucia in Taipei. Reporting in Taiwan, I am Larissa Joseph.